The movie I will be talking about today is The Virgin Suicides and the two central themes I thought most important. The movie Virgin Suicides is a drama made in 1999 and was directed by Sofia Coppola, based on a 1993 best-selling book of the same name by author Jeffrey Eugenides. The film tells of the brief lives of five teenage sisters, the Lisbon sisters, in a middle-class suburb near the outskirts of Detroit during the 1970s. The main themes throughout the movie is the death of purity and isolation. One of the most important scenes that shows the loss of purity as being a theme is when Lux Lisbon, played by Kristen Dunst, lies alone on the football field after just losing her virginity. Losing your virginity is one of the biggest steps anybody can take, losing their purity and becoming an adult. This is also her spiritual death. From this point on, Lux is a lifeless wraith, existing rather than living. Her spirit, so bright before this point, is extinguished. Though all her sisters go into deaths as virgins, their deaths also involve this reoccurring theme. Again, the film's main focus features the Lisbon sisters, who are, who are group clearly set apart from the world around them. Even before they are physically put under lockdown in their family home, their boundaries are clearly defined and uncrossable. The male narrator's viewpoints of them is that of outsiders desperate to be absorbed in isolation, to understand the power this bond between the sister girls has created. They describe the sisters as being oddly shaped emptiness, mapped by what surrounds them. After another present theme in this movie is isolation. As mentioned before, the girls were always isolated from their peers and mostly stuck together. Even at their home, they had strict rules like no dances, an early curfew, and rarely being able to go outside. Only after Cecilia, the youngest daughter's suicide attempt, was that the psychologist and Mr. Lisbon were able to convince Miss Lisbon that it would be better for the girls to have some more freedom. Miss Lisbon eased up, but only a little. She let the girls play outside in the front yard. This was considered a huge change for the girls because the door was left open when they were able to play, and had always been closed before. Figuratively, the door closed was that kept the girls isolated, and when it was opened, it isolated them a little less from the outside world around them. After Cecilia finally succeeded in killing herself by throwing herself out a window onto spikes of a steel fence, Mr. Lisbon was finally able to convince his wife that the girls needed even more freedom. The young girls needed something more than just playing outside with the door open. This freedom was short-lived. They were able to go to a dance, but it was taken away when Lux lost her virginity and didn't come home till the next morning. This is when all the freedom they had they had was taken away from them again, only this time it was worse. Miss Lisbon made Lux burn all of her records. The girls weren't allowed to go to school and not even able to go outside and other extreme rules. What really escalated the situation from being more sequestering into true imprisonment was the living conditions within the house. For reasons that could only be guessed, Mrs. Lisbon entirely ceased to care for the house or her family. The house became a, sh became a shambles. A festering cesspool would be a more accurate description. When first watching the movie, I was confused to exactly why the girls had to commit suicide. Watching the film again, it became quite clear. Being secluded from the world for so long and under such extreme conditions is prison-like, and the girls saw their only escape is death. After having a taste of the outside world, the damp, and being able to play in the yard, it was so different and nice for the girls that when it was taken away from them again so suddenly and, and in such a extreme sense, they couldn't handle it. And the only way to truly be free was death, and maybe for them, that was the only option.